What's up everyone? It's Tria Might. It's December 19th, 2012. And okay. now I'm going to show you an image that I imaged uh, the other day through my telescope. And this is going to show you Saturn completely on its side. So let's look at this. Now that was imaged through my Mead telescope on, uh, it was actually the 17th because it was 1.30 in the morning. Um, and that was this month, December 17th, 1.30 in the morning, approximately, at, uh, actual time, 1.27. Some apparent inconsistencies with Dark Skywatcher 74's claims. We're going to be looking at some videos that were presented by Dark Skywatcher 74, and his videos that he claimed proved that planets Saturn and Jupiter had tilted completely on their sides. Some friends and I were watching our favourite comedy channel on YouTube, Dark Skywatcher 74, and we noticed something that was very odd. We noticed that in one of Dark Skywatcher 74's videos, he claimed that he took this picture in December of 2012. Here we see a screenshot from Dark Sky Watcher 74's video claiming to show Saturn on December 17th, 2012. Do you see the problem? Let's compare Dark Sky Watcher 74's before and after pictures again. Now I'm going to pause the video just for a minute so I can explain this a little bit better. Again, this is a screenshot from Dark Skywatcher 74's video, which he has since removed. On the left, we see an image that he claimed to take through his own telescope on the 17th of December 2012. He also shows an image that he claimed to, to have taken on the 21st of December 2012. Now, apart from the obvious difference in the orientation of the planet, where the one on the left appears to be completely on its side, there is something else which may not be obvious to somebody who is not into astronomy. The image on the left, we see that the rings of Saturn are completely edge on. I'm not talking about the orientation, I'm talking about the way that we see the rings edge on. Compared to the image on the right, where we can see the, the gaps between the rings and the planet, because of the angle that we're observing Saturn from. I'm going to come back to that point. It's an, an important one. Let's continue with the video. As it turns out, neither of these images were taken by Dark Skywatcher 74. And the last time that Saturn looked like that, with its rings closed or edge on, was in 2009, 2010 not the end of 2012. Oops. But there's something else. This image was actually taken by the Singapore Science Centre Observatory in 2010. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison showing the image from Dark Skywatcher 74's video on the left and the image from the Singapore Science Centre Observatory on the right. They are clearly identical. The Singapore Science Centre Observatory actually confirmed that it was their image. But wait, there's more. Let's listen carefully to Dark Skywatcher 74. Now I'm going to show you an image that I imaged uh, the other day through my telescope. And I don't have any imaging equipment. I do have some that I just ordered. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video until I get my imaging device from China.
So Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might. What imaging device were you using in December of 2012 when you captured that remarkably clear image of Saturn from 2009? So here we have seen proof for Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might, Wake Up America on Facebook, has lied to his subscribers and his viewers and he has used faked images, stolen images in his videos and we see that he is continuing to lie about the content of his videos for example using recent video of satellites that he filmed passing through his field of view in his telescope which he is now claiming in various videos as being UFOs or part of a NASA defense system network. If you are a subscriber of Dark Sky Watcher 74 Tree of Might you might want to question his integrity, his sincerity, his honesty in presenting these videos and his reliability as a source of information. We can clearly see that he has faked images and that his videos are not reliable. The sad reality is that he is laughing in your face. He knows that this sort of thing gets views. The more views the better of course because he has monetized his videos. This is why you have to watch advertisements before you watch his videos because he is earning money from views and the more views the more money. So obviously it is better for him to put some spin on his videos or as we saw in one of my earlier videos as he put it to take you for a ride. I will be scrutinizing some more of Dark Sky Watcher 74's videos, so stay tuned. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll put a link in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.